What was conversation like? Did you understand the cycle of abuse that he had been through growing up? Did you all ever talk about that? I did. Really? Because from what I've read and researched and seen, it seems as if, I mean, he was abusing men, women, just whatever. Is that accurate? But I think it stems from his childhood being molested by a man and a woman. So he, wow. So th that's confirmed that he was oh, molested yes. by both yes. men and women. Men and women. Wow. Dealing with illiteracy, not being able to read. Now we would hear about these things, but it was never really confirmed. Oh God, yeah. It's, what's the best way to, I don't want to say a humbling. Sitting with him, and I remember going through a Dr. Seuss book. And he gets out of the bed and he goes in the hallway and I'm like, like what's like he just transformed into this little boy right before my eyes and I'm like, what's going on? Like it's just we're just reading stories to the kids. What's going on? And he shared with me. He said, Drea, I don't want to do that in front of them. And I said, but why? He was like, I can't read to them what's in that book. I don't want my kids to know I can't read. I said, but Robert, what you have to understand is they can't read either. You are magical in here. Make up the story as you go. I'll help you sound it out. And literally, I was teaching him to read through Dr. Seuss books. That's, but I feel that it yeah. was a love-hate relationship because he would use that against me at times. He would also say, oh, you think you're better than me because you can read. So I think he always had a love-hate relationship with me. So you were seemingly living out the color purple. It's very hard to watch that movie. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow. But in the end, yeah. I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yep. Um, hmm. Why did you choose to keep the last name? Because I paid for this name in blood, sweat, and tears. Literally. Literally. Like, after watching What's Love Got to Do With It, mm. I was in the midst of it and coming out of it, and I understood why she said, you can have everything, but I'm keeping this name. Nobody knows what it's like to be me. And at the end of the day, you know, it's very odd to me that we live in a society, you crucify me for having the last name, but you would not be on my social media and care who I was if I didn't have the last name. So I just let people know real early out the gate, you shouldn't care why I kept the last name. You should be concerned about what I'm doing with the last name. Because I have this last name, 2020 comes and follows me for a day. I've been on CNN. I've been on the platforms. I've been able to speak in Anguilla and on military bases talking about domestic violence awareness and sex trafficking awareness because of the last name. So let's not be concerned about why we should be applauding what I'm doing with it. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out here with last names, and y'all are promoting complete bullshit in our community. Yeah. So you go from falling in love with this man to one of the things I read is, you know, he hogtied you. Yeah. Now, I mean, this is, for me, mind-blowing. Anytime you hear anybody's story, any any woman's story for me, but you the way you told the story, it seemed as if he hogtied you, you were on the side of the bed, and he went to sleep in the he bed? He fell asleep. He fell asleep. And how many hours were you tied up? I don't even know. I just remember being like, all right, think, 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 think. You are a dancer. You're flexible. What can you do? I know I can get my feet as close to my head as possible. Like, literally, it felt like a scene out of the movies where they kidnap somebody and throw them in the back of the van, and then they cut to the scene where the person just been there for hours, and all of a sudden you're like, okay, so either I'm going to figure out how to get out of this or when he wakes up, I don't know what monster. I don't know if I'm getting the teddy bear or the grizzly bear when he wakes up. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'm getting out of this. It was crazy. Like, if it was, if there was social media back then, that would have been a mess. Wow. Like, literally, me escaping, running out the house, running down the street, in the park, hopping the fence, and he's chasing me. So, wait a minute. After he wakes up? Yeah. So, our bedroom had an automatic lock on it. And that's another thing that people are like, why didn't you just leave? Why didn't you just do this? Why don't you just do that? And I'm like, you have no idea the fortress I lived in, okay? That's number one. So the door had an automatic lock and it was like one of the magnetic locks. So when you lock the door in order to get out, you have to push a button and it makes this click noise that makes a bell go off. So I'm like, even when I get out of this, I gotta push that damn button and that Oh, okay. How do you? So I had to be lightning quick, like push it, open the door, click. That's what woke him up. 
I'm so running. you woke him up because you got eventually got running out. yes running down the stairs so i'm like shit i gotta get down all these stairs to the front door i'm like there's no time to grab a purse there's no time to grab shoes there's no time to do anything i got about 10 seconds to get from that third floor down to the first floor to get to the door and out the door i was like okay here we go and me and him running down the damn street looking stupid yes before social media before social media thank god because i could only imagine right now the headlines are Kelly and wife running down the street. She's screaming and hollering barefoot. Because he always kept a very tight veil around him that you couldn't really, almost impenetrable, so to speak. Yeah. And so this happens. What, what what was it like when he caught up to you? What transpires at that point? Immediately you're thinking I'm going to die. That's so what's, what's he saying to you when, like, how did that play out? He Catches up to you running on foot. He finally catches up yes. to you. So he ain't stopped. No. No. I'm thinking, okay, we out in public. He ain't going to act a fool out here because there's people watching. Ha! Was I wrong? But again, it's all in the book. Jay, this is going to be one hell of a book. You know, um, I I've been on the fence about the book, too. Well, I think, I mean, if I may, and and I say this to you, because, I mean, we've talked before, but kind of hearing you now, I understand your therapy, mm -hmm. right? For instance, I felt like reading Jada's book, or not reading it, but just understanding the excerpts and things of that nature, it seemed ill-timed and, you know, almost ill-advised considering what had happened with Will and Chris Rock. Right, And right. so it... It changes the lens, and you can't. You, one thing we don't have control over is the public. At the end of the day, you know, saying telling your truth is your truth, yeah. and no matter what, it is what it is. So, you know, I, I I respect that, I understand that, and I think that when you've gone through trauma, that's the thing. As black people, we don't oftentimes get a chance to express ourselves. We're always told to keep going, just move we, forward, and we. We need to be honest with ourselves. We are a very judgmental culture. Yes, we are. We are, and I get it. Like being after doing the work and the healing and just years and years of counseling and going in and shadow work and dealing with little me and big me, I get it. Mm. I, I get why his super fans feel the way they do. Not We don't have a lot of icons. And the ones that we do, they suppress our history so that we, let me take that back, we do have a lot of icons. We're just not taught about them. So when we get that one that made it out, it feels like we're rooting for ourselves. We feel like we're rooting for our uncle. We're rooting for our dad. We're rooting for our son. Mm -hmm. So we feel like protect them at all costs. But then when do we start to protect the black woman at all costs? And I think to heal the black man, unfortunately, you got to pull his coattail. You have to be that one person that's going to be like, so we going to all sit around and act like this is okay? Because yeah. he has a lot of yes men. And like you said, it's it wasn't just me and my ex. People have to realize at the time that it's me my ex, Jive Records, Sony Records, promoters, concert goers, people that sell, they don't understand the domino effect of how many people make money off this one man. 